Hi, welcome to the demo on Nirmata Policy Manager. In this demo, we will go through some of the capabilities of the Policy Manager. Once you log into NPM, you will be redirected to this dashboard view, wherein you can see a quick summary of all the policies and rules that are there across all of your clusters. What is the policy status across all of them? You can view violations by category and by cloud providers. You can also view violations by top 10 clusters and namespaces, and also some of the recent events that occurred in the last 24 hours across all of the clusters. This section gives a quick compliance summary as to how your clusters are performing across uh, several standards. Some of them are built in like the CS benchmarks, and some of them are Nirmata custom standards like PSS baseline, restricted, and so on. From here, you can navigate to any level of detail that you want. In this demo, you can see that I have onboarded three clusters onto the policy manager. Let's look at how you can onboard your own cluster. So we go to the clusters tab and click on add cluster button. You can give any name for this cluster. You can also add labels. Click on next. Now to register your Kubernetes cluster, you need to install the Nirmata Kubernetes controller. You can do so by downloading this YAML file and then running kubectl create command. We're going to download the file. I have a sample kind cluster here. So we are going to do kubectl create. So it has created all the required namespace and service accounts and the deployment files. Now you can see our cluster has been successfully registered. Now the next step is to install Enterprise Kiverno and the Kiverno operator. You can follow this documentation for detailed steps on installing them. After this step, you can create policies and then view policy reports and optionally move on to installing the Kiverno adapters as well. If you need any assistance in installing the adapters, we have a separate video on installing the AWS adapter. Feel free to take a look. We provide a comprehensive cluster view. Here you can see what are the cluster details, what are the components that are running in the cluster, how many nodes it has, what are the labels and so on. This also helps summary for the Kiverno engine itself. Is the engine healthy? Are the policies in ready state? How many Kiverno pods are running? And the deployment details itself. We can also view the resources, how many workloads, how many CRDs, cluster roles, and what are the infrastructure details. We can view certain metrics on how many cluster policies, rules, total number of admission requests, how many background scans are successful, what is the rule execution success rate, and how much time it took per rule execution or admission review duration. You can also view violations for this cluster under the single tab. These are the namespaces with most violations and the compliance for this cluster. So what is the score of this cluster with respect to all the different compliance standards that are there? Now let's look at the policy reports capability in NPM. You can view policy reports by their categories, by clusters, and also by namespaces. Let's, let's get into one of the categories, EKS best practices. So each of these categories, you can then further filter through based on different status, uh, different clusters and namespaces. Now let's take out one of the rules that failed. This gives you detailed information as to what the rule is, what's the rule type, what category it belongs to, the scope, it, whether it's a namespace scope policy or a cluster scope policy, and why the policy failed. 
we can also view the policy YAML itself. So this is the cluster policy that was applied and these are the rules that are there in this policy. You can download this YAML. Since this is a failure, you can also create JIRA tickets. You need to add your JIRA account so that you can raise appropriate tickets with the failure information. Now let's look at one of the rules that passed, checklist for remote access. This also gives you detailed information about the policy and the rule. You can also view the YAML that was applied. Now moving on to our next capability of compliance standards. We have several built-in standards that are available. We have CS benchmarks, ESS baseline and restricted, EKS best practices, multi-tenancy, and so on. You can also add your own standard. So there are a few Nirmata built-in standards, but you can also add your own custom standard. We have a separate video on how to add your own custom standard. Feel free to refer to that. Now let's look at the PSS baseline standard. Each standard has a set of controls that are defined. Here you can see what control passed or failed and what is the pass percentage considering all of your clusters. You can also view this score per cluster. Each control is mapped to give no policies. For example, the, the disallow capabilities control is mapped to a policy called disallow capabilities and then the rule within the policy itself. These are the resources that this policy and rule is applicable to and then the pass or failure status for each of them. There are several other features like alarms. You can look at the different alarms that went off with the different severity levels. There's also an inventory report that we maintain. You can see across all of the clusters, how many namespaces are there, nodes, pods, and so on. Here you can monitor different events. We also provide identity and access management. There are several integrations available. You can integrate with Git, Jira, Slack, Venify, and so on. You can also configure image registries. These are some of the high level capabilities of the Nirmata Policy Manager, and there are more in the pipeline, so do watch out. Thank you.